stay here like this all night. I can't stand the thought of sleeping without you. I'm too frightened to sleep. What is there to be scared of, honey? There's nothing to be afraid of. Well, somebody shot at us this morning. Doesn't that scare you just a little bit? Oh, well, that was in Port Charles at the ADZ warehouse. Nobody knows us here. Not yet. If we don't blow our covers, we'll be fine. How do I know we haven't already blown it? You didn't see the way Alice looked at me. Oh, honey, come on. You're imagining things. No, I'm not. I feel like we're walking right in the middle of another trap. So what do you suggest we do? Completely forget about the invoice we found at the warehouse? There's got to be some other way to check this out. Oh. Maybe we could write Michelle a little letter. Yo, know, Michelle, you and your friends into some sort of illegal activity or something? No, you know what I mean. Yves, comment ça va? Salut, Michel. Comment te va, toi? Uh, bien. Comment est ton voyage? Fatigant. Très fatigant. Oh, oh salut. Salut. <rire> Fait longtemps, hein? Oui. Est-ce que vous apportez la d'argent pour les caisses de trésor? Bien sûr, qu'est-ce que quoi, hein? <rire> oui. Ça plairait à notre supérieur à Pochal. J'espère. <rire> Not good enough to figure out what they said. Yeah, well, I heard all I needed to hear. Poor Charles. Maybe they'll just give the circus to poor Charles. No. That guy with Michelle is not into the circus. He's no more concerned about the big top than the man in the moon. Does that mean we're not leaving? That's right. Trapper knows trap. We're staying right where we are. Oh, I was afraid of that. We have no choice, Felicia. All the answers we need are right here at the circus. This is Joan London. How good is your eyesight? Tomorrow, take the Good Morning America. In love and the golden glow of Fiji. Tonight at 7.30 on 7. Dan, it looks great. Why shouldn't it? I've got the best of care. Well, but you're still going to have to continue physical therapy for some time. Well, that makes it easy. These exercises give me an excuse to hold hands with that pretty physical therapist. <laughs> I know what you mean. We call her the secret motivational tool. <laughs> uh, when do you think I'll be able to get back to work? You don't have to rush it. Steve understands that you need some time off. That doesn't mean, however, that we could do without Dan around here. Well, you can say that again. What are you doing with all the paperwork, Rick? Well, it's been piling up on Steve's desk ever since he went to the medical convention. I thought you were going to cover for Steve while he was away. I am covering. There's a lot of work here. I don't understand mm -hmm. it all. There's quite a bit. I don't have look, time to... Look, uh, why don't you let me take a look at it? I can tell you what's important. I thought he would never ask. Mm -hmm. that I was hoping... Doctor, is that all right if... Uh... Oh, I don't think it's going to hurt. If you don't work too hard, you've got to save your strength for your therapy. You have my word, Tony. And I have to admit that my motives are kind of selfish, because we want you out of here and back on the job full time, my friend. Everybody wants to see that happen, Dan. And we don't want any talk about you resuming your role as building commissioner either, OK? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. You got a replacement for me on the waterfront committee. Who'd they get? I never met him. But he's a friend of Duke Lavery, so I figure he's all right. Mm -hmm. 